to find the um, coordinates of the center of this circle and the radius of it. Okay, so when you do that, of course, we need to complete the square. And just before we complete the square, I'm going to get all these sort of x terms together and the y terms sort of together here. So we have that. Now, completing the square, of course, halve that number, so it'll be 3. Squared, then take away then the square of this. So take away 3 squared is 9. And same here, then half that is minus 5. Take away then the square of that, which is 25. And then add 14 equals 0. So we get x plus 3 all squared plus y minus 5 all squared. And then minus 9 minus uh, 25 is minus 34. Plus 14 will be minus 20. So we get x plus 3 all squared plus y minus 5 all squared equals to 20. So the circle center will equal to um, minus 3, 5 and the radius will equal to the square root of 20 which of course is 2 root 5. Okay. So part 2 then, it says the point P has coordinates minus 6, 2. Determine whether P lies inside C, on C or outside C. So all we've got to do there is work out the distance of minus 6, 2 to the centre. Okay, we'll go to the distance and if compare the distance then to the radius. So the distance so using the distance formula x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared Well, um, so my x2 will be minus 6. Take away my x1, which is minus 3. And then my y2 will be 2. Take away my y1, which is 5. So let's work that out. So I get um, the distance to be 3 root 2, okay, and 3 root 2, okay, is um, less than this, okay, because 3 root 2 is 4.24, whereas root 20 is 4.24. Four, seven. So in other words, then my point, okay, because it's because the distance to the center is less than the radius, the point P will be inside the circle.